I'm Drew Stevenson. This is for my professional responsibility class. And here I'm going to be talking about ABA Model Rule 8.2, which is about judicial and other legal officials. And Part A is going to be mostly focused on lawyers publicly criticizing judges. Part B is about some of the ethical rules that apply when a lawyer is in the process of becoming a judge. So having said that, let's dive in. Part A says, a lawyer shall not make a statement that the lawyer knows to be false or with reckless disregard as to its truth or falsity concerning the qualifications or integrity of a judge, an adjudicatory officer, or public legal officer, or of a candidate for election or appointment to judicial or legal office. So this would apply to someone who's going through the nomination process for federal court or who's running for a seat as a state court elected judge. You may have times when you're in practice that you get very frustrated with a judge or feel like a judge is biased or unfair or something like that. Um, this rule covers what you can and can't say in your public criticisms and statements about the, the judge. And basically, be careful not to exaggerate or imply things that even that aren't really true. Um, and be careful with your insults and so forth. Um, because we do have a rule that holds lawyers to a pretty um, high standard of conduct. I'm going to have a follow-up to this video about a big Supreme Court case in this area that sort of shaped this area of law, Garrison versus Louisiana. But having said that, let's talk about the second part of this rule. B says, a lawyer who is a, who is a candidate for judicial office shall comply with the applicable provisions of the Code of Judicial Conduct. In other words, even though you're not a judge yet, there are some provisions of the Code of Judicial Conduct that deal with campaigning and fundraising and soliciting donations and so forth, and those can apply to you. This can make for tricky questions sometimes on the MPRE because they you think maybe it's about the Code of Judicial Conduct, but the person they're asking about isn't a judge yet. Remember this rule. This rule was challenged recently and went to the U.S. Supreme Court. Um, in 2015, the Supreme Court upheld Florida's version of this rule, which is uh, almost identical to what you see here. And there was a, a, that situation involved a lawyer who was wanted to run for ju state judicial office and basically solicited campaign donations from her clients, which is not allowed under the Code of Judicial Conduct. So that concludes our lecture about 8.2. It's a short, simple rule. I'm going to have a follow-up uh, video that's a short video about Garrison versus Louisiana.